So I've um, got a very interesting convincing uh, transaction on at the minute, something that comes up unfortunately all too often, um, and it involves property chains. It's something that's probably the biggest frustration for people that are moving. In this particular example, it's actually a relative of mine, they're first time buyers, and when they secured the property, they were told by the estate agent that the person they were buying from was free of an ongoing transaction and that everything could go through very quickly. Uh, we had their transaction ready to go, uh, their mortgage was in place uh, very quickly, we undertook all of the legal work and within a matter of weeks uh, they were ready to move and that's really when, when the frustration started for them. The reality of the position was that although they'd been told by the estate agent that the person that they were buying from was ready to go, it turned out that they weren't. And their ongoing move was the thing that caused the problems. And that's this concept of property chains. So it's where there's linked transactions beyond your own sale or purchase. The concept is that any one property chain can only move as quickly as the weakest link of that chain. So if somebody has personal reasons why they don't want to move, or their own purchase or sale gets stuck, or their own solicitor is slow, every part of that chain will need to generally exchange contracts and complete on the same day. And that's where the frustrations come in. They're heightened by virtue of the fact that the solicitors within the transaction are precluded, professionally not allowed, uh, to talk to other solicitors further up the chain about anything other than their own transaction. Uh, that's, as I say, because of professional conduct rules. And this can be quite a frustration for clients too, who just think we can sort of wave a magic wand. We can't, unfortunately. So there's your chain. It's linked transactions. And remember that uh, the whole chain can only come together when the, uh, the weakest link the slowest party within that chain is ready to go. Really, is there anything your solicitor can do to, uh, to speed that up? The answer really is no. All they can do is control your own transactions. Frustrating, we know. We'd love to have a magic wand to wave and make things better, but I'm afraid we don't. There you have it, property chains, frustrating. I think the best bit of advice we can give really is just hang in there.